Okay, in this video I want to take you through a complete site blueprint all the way through to creating a skeleton site for the uh, for the site. Let's create a new site blueprint and we'll select the golf club database and um, I'm going to call it golf club um, by manu Factor, just so that I can remember which one it is because I've got a few test projects up. What I'm going to do is create a site blueprint for a website where the main pages are the, um, the main manufacturers of golf clubs. Let's click on OK. Let's delete the spaces for the file names. And the very first thing I'm going to do is order by count. And I'm going to minimize this just so I can see what's going on. Right, what I'm looking for are manufacturers of golf clubs like Callaway, Ping, um, TaylorMade and so on. Let's go over to the site blueprint. No, let's not do that. Let's create the groups um, directly from here. So let's enable the drop zone and we'll go and pick these out. Callaway Ping, TaylorMade, Cleveland. Let's include Golf Swing Trainer as well because train the trainers are very um, important for a lot of golf players. Let's leave it at that. We've picked a few groups there and let's create the groups. We're about to create seven groups. Okay, fine. Now if we go back over here we can see we've got the seven groups. The one group I need to add, which isn't there at the moment, is the home page because we need to be able to store the home page, um, or rather, the, the KRA Pro needs to have the home page group so that it can create the home page for us. And uh, the first thing I'm going to do is to select the home page, and um, I'm going to use that as the main phrase for the home page. Okay, now we can go and have a quick check. There's the home page, there's the main page for it. While I'm on here, you'll see here that the file name has been given Golf Club Reviews. That's because of this phrase here. However, we don't want that. We want uh, index HTML, which we can save. Right, now what we need to do is we need to find the, the phrases now for each of these sections. So first one, Callaway. I have noticed that some people spell it Callaway with an O. So I'm going to go here and type Callaway. Uh, no, we don't want both. We want or Cal if it's spelled Callaway or Callaway. Filter. Let's turn them blue so we can do something with them. And I'm going to add the filtered phrases to the collection. And then insert those into the Callaway group. The next one is Ping. Let's just reset the colors. Ping. And then there's 54 pings, so we're going to add those to the Ping group. Next group, TaylorMade. And the thing I've noticed about TaylorMade is it could be spelt Taylor space made or it could be sp spelt Taylor with no space made so the only way we can catch both of those is to use an AND filter so phrases that have Taylor AND made let's just clear this filter try that again there we go and we have 42 Taylor made phrases we'll add those to the filtered box increase insert into the group and now, Cleveland. And we have 19 f Cleveland phrases which we're going to add to the Cleveland group. Then, Golf Swing Trainer. Um, for this, I'm just going to put. Let's have a look. Um, let's have. The phrase either contains swing, because if somebody's searching for something with the word swing in, they're obviously looking for some help, or contains the word trainer and filter on that. 
and you can see there we have 317 of those. Let's just add them all in now. Add them to that group. Phrases have been added. The next one is Nike. And we've only got 23 phrases there. But we'll insert them. And then Cobra. Filter. Only 16. Obviously we're getting down to less common makes of golf clubs here. And then if we go over to the niche, over to the site blueprint page now you can see that we have a list of phrases for Callaway, Ping, TaylorMade, Cleveland, Nike, Cobra and Homepage. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this up as a silo site. So the very first thing I want to do is to define directories for each of these um, main sections of the site. Okay, now what I've done is on my hard drive I've set up a directory to hold the website, and this is the the, the folder C temp site, and giving it a false uh, domain name there. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to say right, let's select the directories for each of these, and the home page is going into the site folder. Callaway is going to go into the Callaway folder. Ping is going into the Ping folder. TaylorMade will go into the TaylorMade folder. Cleveland to Cleveland. Golf Swing Trainer into the Golf Swing Trainer. Uh, Nike to the Nike folder and the Cobra into the Cobra folder. Okay, so now we've defined the folders that each of these uh, web pages are going to be created in. I could go one step further here and put titles for all of these um, and then that would create a complete um, blueprint, but I'm not going to do that because um, it'll take a lot of time and I don't really intend to build this site. Um, if you're going to do the site blueprint yourself properly, then it's a good idea, or you, you know you can do it later. So it's not vital that you put this information in here. So I'm just going to close these down now, just to get them out of the way. And the next step will be to find theme words for all of these pages that I intend to create. So I'm going to go over here and click on the button that takes me to the theme word list builder but to theme word list builder for the entire website and um, for the purpose of this video I'm going to use the database and I've said before that you shouldn't create the um, theme words for all of the groups in one go if you're using the database but the database is a lot quicker for the purpose of this video so that's why I'm doing it. Um, just click go and KRA Pro now is going and creating theme words for all of my groups and I'm going to just pause the video for a second although it won't take much longer back in a minute. Okay now KRA Pro has finished what it's done is it's found theme words for each of the phrases in the database. So we've now got the um, primary phrase and all of its theme words and now we need to do it to export it um, and, this and what we're going to do for that is we're going to export to a skeleton website HTML files which uses a template. Now for the purpose of this I've set up a very basic template and you can see that template here it's just very basic you could you could use a much more complicated one but you'll see here that we have um, placeholders or tokens where KRA Pro will insert the various information as it's building the skeleton site. Okay, we'll select that template, we'll put a default file extension of HTML and we'll click on the OK export button and now KRA is building my skeleton website for me and creating a, a new p a separate page for each page that I defined in my profile. i show you in Explorer we've got the index file, then we have the folders that we'd set up before and in each folder we have the files that we defined um, as being related to that 
folder. So we have a complete skeleton website and all that we need to do now is to go in and add the content, menus and so on. The um, files will have the title imported assuming you've got the title for the articles here. It will also have these theme words and the, uh, the main theme word down in the uh, meta keyword tag. So there's a complete skeleton website created for you using the site blueprinter.